Our next stop on the journey up the home espresso ladder is with Ranchilio. Now on their sixth generation of the Silvia, this machine has clearly stood the test of time, with hordes of people still recommending it in its respective price range. But how does it stack up with the machines we've already looked at so far, and is it right for you? Let's find out. As always, this machine will be linked down in the description below. We purchased it with our own money, and this whole review is completely free from any external opinions or influence. Let's start by taking a look at the physical machine and build quality. Now, I don't normally talk about unboxings, but the Sylvia came with so much protective film that it actually required me to loosen some screws to get it all off, which I thought was at least worth mentioning. Once defilmed, this is a handsome looking machine, especially in the special edition black finish we went with. I also like how the power cord is routed out at the bottom, leaving a very clean look on the back of the machine, which is good if you plan on placing it on an island or anywhere else where it will be seen from all four sides. The Sylvia is a very sturdy build, sort of straddling the gap between consumer and prosumer level machines. The 31 pound weight means you don't need to hold the machine when locking in the portafilter, and the brass group head is very professional feeling. The machine has a sturdy central metal frame, with thinner sheet metal making up the majority of the outer shell. There are some plastic parts on the Sylvia, such as the portafilter handle, steam knob, and water tank lid, but the plastic used feels noticeably higher quality than those found on something like a Gaja Classic Pro. Another thing worth mentioning is that this is the first machine we've featured so far that comes with an actually nice tamper. All of this to say that the Sylvia looks and feels like it belongs in the price bracket it falls in. Moving on to features, the Sylvia sports a full-size 58mm portafilter, a 0.3 liter brass boiler, a single hole steam arm, a 2 liter removable water reservoir, and front mounted switches for power, brewing, steaming, and hot water that will exit through the steam arm. A green indicator light shows when the machine is powered on, and an orange light shows when the boiler is working to get up to temperature. Two areas where I was slightly disappointed with the functionality are the cup warming rack and oddly enough the drip tray. The top of this machine simply doesn't get warm enough to heat your cups up much past room temperature, so if you want to preheat them, you'll need to fill them with hot water from the steam arm. The drip tray was an odd design to say the least. Instead of being a single piece that slides out like on most other machines, the top grate lifts off to reveal a shallow pan. This not only reduces the capacity, but also makes it difficult to remove when very full. Not exactly sure why they went this route. Now that we've covered the build quality and features, let's move on to the actual brewing and steaming. Starting off with espresso, this is a very capable machine. The brass group head warms both itself and the portafilter very quickly and effectively. Let this machine warm up for 15 to 20 minutes and everything will be piping hot and ready to go. Well, except for your cups. One noteworthy inclusion on this machine is the ability to adjust your brew pressure. There's no need to cut any overpressure valves or otherwise avoid your warranty. The process is right in the instruction manual and very easy to do. Being a standard 58mm machine, it's also very easy to find aftermarket precision filter baskets, shower screens, and other accessories to further improve quality. But straight out of the box, this machine produces fantastic espresso, assuming you pair it with an equally capable grinder. Moving on to the steaming performance, we come to one of the most impressive parts of this machine, but also one possible downside depending on how you currently structure your workflow. Steaming power on the Sylvia is extremely impressive equaling or even slightly exceeding the power found on the Rocket Apartamento. Some people may even opt to not open the valve all the way while learning how to properly texture, but let her rip and the Sylvia will provide more steaming power than you'll ever really need. When wide open, the Sylvia reached the standard 60 degrees Celsius in just under 26 seconds. Steaming capacity was also very good thanks to the 300 milliliter boiler, allowing me to steam enough milk for multiple drinks at a time if needed. However, that larger boiler has one notable downside. Because this is still a single boiler machine, you need to wait for it to transition between brewing and steaming temperatures, and the larger the boiler is, the longer that process takes. On the Sylvia, this transition takes about one and a half minutes, 
which many people will note is too long to leave your espresso shot sitting, waiting out for milk. So you're forced into the alternate workflow of steaming first, cooling down the boiler, and brewing second. Now some people will argue that this is actually the correct process, as steamed milk will generally keep better than a shot of espresso. So this is really less of a downside, and more of a workflow change that might actually yield better results if you are currently someone who brews first and steams second. Now let's see that workflow in action, and then we'll come back and discuss who exactly this machine is for. And there we have it. That was a latte on the Ranchilio Silvia. So, who exactly do I think should buy this machine? The Silvia is a great option for anyone looking for a well-built machine that will last many, many, many years if taken care of properly. It's benefited from a history of slow, iterative improvements to the product line and offers fantastic espresso quality and consistency from shot to shot. The standout feature for me was the steaming power, allowing you to quickly create latte quality milk for one or multiple drinks at a time. You'd be hard pressed to find a machine that can make lattes faster or with better quality than the Silvia without first shelling out hundreds or even thousands of dollars extra for a heat exchanger or dual boiler unit. Which explains why the Ranchilio Silvia has held such a crowd favorite position in this price bracket for so long. Again, we'll leave this machine linked down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.